It's been nearly a year since the bombshell revelation by the Integrity Commission. Six parliamentarians are under investigation for illicit enrichment. All this while the nation remains on edge as their identities remain shrouded in secrecy. Well, one minister is of the view it's time to name those involved. Natalia Clark tells us more. Despite mounting speculation, accusations and political uproar, there has been no update on the investigation into the six parliamentarians accused of illicit enrichment by the Integrity Commission. The matter, which left a stagnant cloud of suspicion over the political directorate, was part of the IC's annual report last year. The public has since been clamoring for answers. Justice Minister Delroy Chuck says the silence surrounding the progress of these investigations is deafening. He's calling on the commission to provide closure. It is about time we have a report on the, the, the annual report of 22-23 about six illicit enrichment of members, whether or not those six members have been cleared, they have one or all six have been cleared up because when Mr. Craig Beresford was here, he intimated, he said that the basis of the illicit enrichment was a mismatch between purchases and income or expenditure and income. To my mind, those members, whoever they are, if they can't clear it up, then we need some indication from the I see, Integrity Commission, what is being done. But the parliamentarians weren't the only ones caught in the crosshairs of the Integrity Commission's scrutiny. The report also found 28 other public officials were under investigation for similar allegations. But what is illicit enrichment? According to the Corruption Prevention Act, it refers to owning more assets than your legal earnings can afford. Public servants can face prosecution if they fail to provide or if they provide an unsatisfactory explanation for their assets. The opposition PNP has denied any of its members being under investigation, while the government has largely stayed mum. Minister Chuck insists it's time the IC gets the ball rolling. Everybody asks me, I see on the street, are you one of the six? <laughs> It, it, it's not fair, Chairman. They need to clear this thing up. He was addressing the Integrity Commission Oversight Committee on Thursday. He also sought clarity on when the 2023-2024 IC annual report will be ready, to which Chairman Edmund Bartlett cautioned. I think it, it will be a little awkward. Um, in the normal run of things, um, the expectation of time would not have elapsed. So let's give the... Uh, the Commission, yes, yes, um, we have be between now to June for that report to my best uh, understanding. So um, I, I don't think that we should have the Commission feeling rushed or pushed to have the annual report ready. Natalia Clark, CVM News.